And um, and which one is which? Facebook. Serene, they Instagram. are updating that Instagram photo just soon. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Nate. You're on top of it. Good. When you go live, do you find that it's a big delay? Where you, you probably yes. not as much in the country when people see yeah. it, but people are seeing it way before we see their comments. Yeah. yeah. So as a professional, what do you usually do? For my lives? Yeah, like when no one, you don't see anyone interacting with you. I usually make some awkward comment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, where are those comments coming in? Um, they're really coming in up here, but I don't see them there. See, look. That's right. Instagram. Oh, okay. they haven't hit so over here. Those are yet. people joining. Those are yeah. So that's you see the comments. people joining here. And that's here your... you see comments. Yeah. Okay. Hey Hannah. Hey Cheryl. Hey. Hey Heather. Oh hey there. Look who we have with Heather us. Hey, hey, buddy. Hello. The great KJ. The mm -hmm. one and only. On the hilltop. On the hilltop. It's been fun. I know I'm never leaving. They're gonna have to drag me away. <laughs> I'm gonna send my husband and daughter home. I'm seeing. We don't want to drag you away. We <laughs> might just tie you up. <laughs> yeah, you were staying on on Serene's land in the new cabin that her husband and sons built, and they just hooked up the water before she drove in That's the driveway. Beautiful. So she's working out the kinks for us. I have never slept in a more comfortable bed really? in my entire life. I was trying to figure out what the mattress was, but the linen. My daughter-in-law. Oh, I did. My daughter-in-laws. They decorated the whole place in their mm -hmm. linen. People. I fully, fully believe and preach about linen sheets and do not have any myself. Why? Oh, I do not know. Rashida keeps my niece. Rashida kept saying, "Auntie Pearl, are you enjoying your linen sheets?" And I'm like, "No, because I don't have any yet." What you don't have problem? polyester, do you? No, like bamboo, and they're not, not that great. Walmart. Do you sleep yeah. on linen no, sheets? Are from, oh, from warm-up coffin. Nice. Nice 500 cut Egyptian cotton, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think they were 997. Oh, that's good. Do you sleep on linen quality. sheets, you purest crunchy girl? No, I sleep on bamboo. Okay, but would you prefer to sleep in linen? I don't know. I brought the bamboo. It cost me some bucks. I'm staying in them for a bit until they make holes. I'm ordering linen. From <laughs> yeah, I've never slept so good. Oh, who the, who out here, if you're listening, sleeps on linen? What do you sleep on? But we are going to be actually talking some good stuff today, even though we're just chit-chatting as you all come in. Mm -hmm. To have lunch with us. You guys should see my lunch. Where can I put it? Yeah, there Let you, go. you guys see it. Tip it up a little bit. That's but Insta not enough can to... see it. Let's what about the faces? The faces. It's oh, like, can it's you like see how You can't really see how glory it is. It's just a yogurt bowl. And it's just um, Nancy's yogurt string because they have more probiotics in them. Oh, yeah, I love it. Nancy's I love, Greek yogurt is amazing. Brain. The reason why I like the Nancy's is because it tastes like yogurt from down under. Remember that mm. Bornhofen brand that we had that was so sour and nice? Yeah. It tastes like it's really fully fermented and I like the next. Um, and then I just got a whole bunch of those wild frozen blueberries, blueberries put them in a little pot mm -hmm. um, so they could start not being frozen. Right, it takes right. like two minutes. Yeah. Put a little lemon juice in there so that my insulin will get into all my cells and the protein would... Oh, I did mix in like a, a rounded tablespoon of the optimized vanilla whey. Have you ever tried putting your psyllium in? You put psyllium in everything. Not in you yogurt. Tried it? Not How in come? Yogurt. You put it in everything else that no. should be gross. I don't know. No, it doesn't. It doesn't go with yogurt. Have you tried? No. I bet you it would be incredible. And then um, just I just put nut butter on top. Oh, it's in case I get hungry. So like peanut butter or yeah, butter. that one is peanut butter. But I went back and forth between peanut. Do you butter do organic butter. peanut butter? No. Stop asking me questions. <laughs> no, <laughs> not gonna no, no organic answer. peanut butter. Are you guys even gonna trust her? What are you listening to her for? You knew the answer before you asked that. <laughs> Oh, we sound far away. Jackie says, we got the um, volume turned up. Ugh. Good, Mikey. Amy Gaskin says, we all look beautiful. I bet you do too, Amy. Yeah. Thanks, Ames. Uh, are we, can you all hear us? Because Jackie Osborne says, we're sounding far away. Except, Jackie, maybe you should turn your volume up just in case it's on you and not on us. But you never know. I think we're sideways on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Are we sideways? On Insta for real? Like this. Or is that so we can read their comments? No, I think I think we're actually sideways on Instagram. Mm. So hey guys, see. hey those of you who are on Instagram, tell us if we're coming in sideways or not. Are we coming in sideways, Mikey? On Insta? Instagram is not capable of sideways, but we had to do that just be, to fit you guys in. Oh. So. Right, but we're not coming in sideways. Well, they can turn their phone around. Can't Instagram they? doesn't have the capability yes. of formatting it sideways, so we had to do this just to fit you in. 
so they can it's just not flip. Sideways, they'd have to flip their phone yes, sideways. Yes, you were sideways. Oh, but if you flip, they your, have to flip their phone sideways. If you flip your your phone sideways, mm. Instagram, you will see us properly. Oh, the audio. human brain is going to instinctually <laughs> turn its phone around. Oh, the audio is good. Okay. Hopefully. You have little faith in the human brain. Right. Yeah, everyone, if you turn your phone, fun. that's fine. It's <laughs> not she, like she, we're going to be perfect. She double you. reminded them. What? They will flip their own phone by their own instinct. No, some people like me don't know what to do. <laughs> so you're just going to keep sideways people and not even try to flip Yes. It. I'm worried about writing a book with you ever again. <laughs> no litter sheets. No organic peanut butter, and don't know what to do with sideways people on phones. Yeah. Um, You're fired as a friend. <sighs> KJ, did you bring your tech issues with you? Probably. I bring them everywhere I go. That's right. No, some people are still <laughs> having our sideways serenes, not just me. Well, they know how to turn. No, they don't. Some of us don't know things. <laughs> Let's not be judged. Do not judge us. Of little technology, you're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know. Today... I didn't know how to buy her da daughter-in-law a, a a gift for her baby shower in a registry because it wasn't an Amazon registry. I'm like, I don't know how to do this registry. It's not Amazon. I don't just press a button. I have to punch in IDs and. I think that everyone do who does registries like should make it easy for those of us buying and just That's do that. Yeah, I think it should be Amazon. Just send them cash. Yeah. yeah. That's what I ended up doing. Yeah. Hey, um. KJ is going to bring us a lot of meat today about how to stay on plan when your family's mm -hmm. not. I like that. Yeah. KJ, do you want to sh show my haul first? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're we going to do the haul. Yeah. What do you want to start with? Because groceries you know we want to sell care. products, right? We want groceries and skincare. I don't care. All right, let's go to this. Tell us what groceries. this is about. These are all of my favorite THM products, which means there's like one of everything. Um, you, you are, because you're on the hilltop, you were at our cafe today. Yes, I went to the cafe today, so I thought, or no. When's there ever going to be a better time for me to pick up everything? Hey, we, didn't tell you, we didn't tell you to do this. No, you we just came with like 500 bucks worth of stuff. Baking blend, right? Is that what that is? See, I... she's staying on the, on the hilltop. She should have got a family discount. <laughs> she's peeing in our toilets. I mean, you know well, what I mean? Right. I get the membership discount if I buy online. I just paid extra. You should go back for a refund. Mm. Oh, I, for I thought I was saving money because I was paying for shipping, but I didn't get my 10% discount. <laughs> I'd go back in the end. That was a wash. It's okay. It's all right. It's a bit And baking blend is actually, if you're not at the cafe, no. even if you're at the cafe, it's on sale. Last day. I just sold some stuff for our husbands. <laughs> <laughs> yes, run and get it. This is, I love this sweetener. This is gentle sweet, but I get the xylitol free because Me too. I have a sweet dog that I'm always very, very worried about. So mm. you get it for your dog. I get it because no one should be around me if I've got xylitol in my tummy. <laughs> you so you're just protecting others, just yes. like I press you too. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't do xylitol. Um, peanut flour because my last one went bad. What do you do with peanut flour? Um, I put it in my yogurt. Mm. I put it in smoothies. Mm. I make a lot of peanut butter sauces. Mm. Mm. Yeah, like like spicy, like Thai. Like thai. Yes. Yeah. Yes. On um, I made a recipe the other day that I saw on Instagram that used it with um, cucumbers. And you would eat that alone, right? Because your husband's an all-American black pepper and salt and no yes. other spice. He would never eat this. He yes. would rather die. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and that brings us to what we're going to be talking about today. Family members that would rather die than eat on plants. We should just label it like that. Yes. Would that be good? You're, you're a very phenomenal influencer. Would that be good clickbait? Yeah, it would. Teach us, because you just do pretty good. Teach us, Master. You, you still do a, a sweet blend, hey? Or, this is what I put my coffee. Okay. Um, I've heard, hold on. I've heard things about KJ. And it goes something like this. KJ puts three, tell me if this is an exaggeration, three teaspoons of, of super sweet in a coffee. A heaping tablespoon, yeah. I'm not going to put you on my playlist. <laughs> I really am. At the cafe today, I ordered a cappuccino. KJ's taste buds and make them whole. <laughs> <laughs> she said, how much super sweet? And I'm like, oh, a tablespoon. She went, a whole tablespoon? Super sweet. And I'm like, yeah. A tablespoon. Snap wow. it in there, baby. For new pigs in the room, that is some sweet coffee. Uh, that is oh. sweet just to the point of ouch. I feel like you'd be tasting that coffee for a year and if you didn't pour another one. 
Oh my goodness. I don't trust people that don't sweeten their coffee. Yeah, you shouldn't trust them. I find trust it on trust me. Hey, good morning. I can't believe you're sleeping in my cabin. I'm like, oh, the knife in the night. <laughs> mm. Okay, I also got some of this because I use this to make my favorite recipes. Ooh, yeah. Pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. Have you ever made my pumpkin chocolate chip cookies? I haven't, but you know, just so How you much know, super sweet do you put in them before? <laughs> I think they're gentle. Okay. KJ wrote a whole cookbook on our no carb easy bread. You guys should pick it up, it's free. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you actually want, are thinking of maybe writing some more cookbooks that might not be free for our other easy mixes. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. she just likes takes stuff and does amazing things with stuff. Yeah. Stuff, KJ, amazing things. That's right. Ta da! Yeah. All right. Even my husband eats this all the time. He eats a lot of nutritional yeast. We put it on just about everything. We eat green beans. Mm -hmm. Green beans. He's, he's not a veggie eater. Mm -hmm. I can make pretty much any veggie and he will turn up his nose. But if I put green beans and load it with this, he will eat. I'm surprised you only got one bag. I have I go I have through five or six of those. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I go through two to three bags a week. Yeah. Because especially with Serene's Nutri Green salad, like every night I love to have a big salad. It's my jive. And sometimes I put like balsamic and things, but some nights all I want is oil, Nutri Greens, and salt. It is the most magical bed for a huge salad. Yeah. Then you put your warm protein mm. on, your nuts, and oh my goodness, nothing else is required. I make a recipe called Zoo Cheesy that is dairy-free yeah. cheese made yeah. out of zucchini and this is one of the main ingredients that makes mm. it taste so cheesy. If I'm out of nutritional yeast in my house, my children think we have no groceries. They can't <laughs> eat eggs, they don't snack yeah. on popcorn, they don't know how to fry up their rice or anything. They just don't know how to eat. Yeah. So Can we talk about why? Why do we love trim healthy nutritional yeast during while I'm eating my yogurt? Well, because it doesn't have any of the synthetic B vitamins. Mm -hmm that are in a lot of the other normal store bought Almost nutrition Almost entirely yeast. all of them. A synthetic, and you, and you know because you'll pee up like a, a bright green pea. Well, if you eat a lot, but it's- You the, will. The yellow, the very bright yellow nutritional yeast says that it's got that synthetic folate. Yeah. And synthetic folate can really gum up your MTHFR folate, yeah, receptors, and you and you want to have good synth. methylation, so you want natural folate, mm -hmm. which is in that. You don't want the synthetic. No. So this is one of the very rare nutritional yeasts on the market that are totally um, having the natural forms of B vitamins in it, namely folate. And of course, we love nutritional yeast because it stabilizes your blood sugar. It's very high in chromium, and it's a rich source of. Um, the B complexes, but it's almost also an immune enhancer, and that's what I love about it too. It's re and it has some protein, Pearl, right? About three mm. grams per tablespoon, maybe tablespoon or something. Hey, yeah. Someone was saying, what that so a headache? Mm. Love Nutri Green. It's my go-to for a headache. Huh. Yeah. What is in it? What is in it that is doing that headache thing relief? I wonder. Mm. Yeah, it says here it's antibacterial and antiviral. Oh, it works really so good. So it's fighting off some. Yeah. All right, I love it. Let's keep digging in here. Um, okay, I have to be honest about this. I was Set resistant around. for oh, a long time, not because I didn't like it, but because I had favorites that I was um, very attached to. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then what were your what were your um, you can say little pacifier coffees? That you um, have? There's a really good brand yeah. um, from Maine called Unrest from a very close friend of mine that I just love his coffee and mm -hmm. it's still really good. Um, and I really like Duncan. Yeah, mm. I love See, Duncan I love coffee. Duncan too. But it just goes up the ways. Duncan yeah. is very mm, up high on the palate. I liked it too. So I started drinking this, and now I don't really like any other coffee. Mm. Oh, Aww. So I buy the whole beans for my mm. espresso shots, and then See, this we for my morning today, coffee. Another reason why we're all triplets is because you have a Breville too. I do. I do. They I should start asking you to get like really good money to like advertise a Breville. They should. They haven't asked us yet, but yeah, they should but do that. No one they asked us. Oh, you know, but I can't make it, it look pretty. I tried to get the girl at the cafe to teach me this morning, but she was too busy. I know. I try. And and my daughter, when she makes coffee for our, for my husband, so said, our husband, it sounds like a cult, for my husband. <laughs> our husband. <laughs> <laughs> when she makes it, it's always the most beautiful art. And then I try, you know, and I hand the coffee to, to my man, and it's like plop. Yeah, it's plop. like it's, Tastes yeah, good, though. It's yeah, like a snow monster where... I mean, you guys that are watching, who has a um, Breville? 
like a home rebel where you steam the milk and it grinds mm -hmm. the beans. It's literally life changing. Yeah, Pearl yeah. says she'd rather, we've probably said this on a live before, yeah. but she said she'd rather live in the trailer home with cockroaches and have a brittle than no. live in a mansion without That's a brittle. That's true. I say live in a trailer home minus cockroaches. And no, brittle. I think we include cockroaches. No, you cockroaches. just added that. I said if the cockroaches was well, too Well, the trailer much. home that we were thinking about was your yeah. old one and it had cockroaches. I said before it had cockroaches. That's all. And then, otherwise, I'd love, rather live in that minus cockroaches than my nice big home down there. Yeah. Well, and my husband bought it for me for our yeah. anniversary last year. He yes. must love because they're expensive. They were. And I whined But this about one's ground time. already. What you doing with that? Why would you whine about it? Because you wanted it. Because I wanted it. I was like, oh. I want a rebel so bad. Aww. But he also bought me my... Um, <laughs> he also bought me my... Um, <laughs> so <crazy>. Nate. <laughs> what am I... What did he buy me? I don't know. My blender. My blend tech. Oh, yes. Blend tech. Hey, but this is ground. You need to go yes. back and replace it. What happened? What, Nate? Jocelyn, well, it's not whole bean. It's like you want whole bean. The studies in the Ritherzol. Oh, okay. On Facebook. You like that for it. This is for my morning quick cup. Oh, yeah. But during my afternoon, I always have a cup. Okay, for my cup. All right. Keep picking. Okay. That's the reason I did address it in very big detail. About what? The studies about erythritol. And it is in the files on our Facebook group. It actually is on our website too, I believe, in documents. Okay. Um, we went deep mm -hmm. on that. Let me look for it. Don't tell me you put a tablespoon of this no, baby in this, there. No, this, in all honesty, will probably last me until retirement. <laughs> I have, I had one of these and I had it for almost four years before really? I went through it. Because I don't use it very often. Yeah. Um, but I do like to have it, and I will use it right down till it's completely empty, and then I'll put water in it. And yeah. See, I do go through a lot yes. of these. Like yeah. in my yogurt today, this is all just stevia. Um, yeah, but no, all it's just a do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I put no. I put oh, actually, I'm wrong. I put two donks in my blueberries and half a juice of a lemon, and then um, in my whey, well, I put vanilla whey protein, so I didn't need it anymore. So I love to put it in my oatmeal. Yeah. Like a couple of dumps per do. oatmeal, and then in all my if I if I'm going to sweeten my yeah, yuck yum and any yeah. kefir, it really matches berries. I thought mm -hmm. you weren't allowed to, to sweeten your yuck yum. Well, I thought that was the law. No, I just do a little dunk occasionally, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. But um, the other thing I love about the pure stevia is I do it in my um, special sourdough muffins. I just as you because I toot less if I keep to the stevia. Mm -hmm. Although in a matcha latte, I like one teaspoon of gentle sweet. That's Lovely. something I can't get on board with as matcha. matcha. Oh man, I've tried it. it tastes like have you tried? No, have things. you tried ceremonial matcha? Well, That's no, this color, that. this lime green. It's like the freshest of the first it harvest. Tastes like I licked a John Deere. Mm. Oh my no, you've had the bad kind. I just can't. I, I can't agree. say you've had my KJ, kind. KJ, you're so true. Matcha. Let's be let's be honest. What? Tastes like lawnmower clippings. It but, doesn't. But it, no, I agree. I taste but, the tannins and the depth and the, the. No, but serene, yes, all of that. But also lawnmower clippings. But it's how you look at it. Like if you, if you put a tiny bit of sweetener and you embrace the lawnmower clippings. No, I don't go to lawnmower. I go to a top of a Tibetan you, and mountain, I like and I just I'm sitting there on these like steps on top of a mountain even. So it's just such a high place. And it's feel, it feels very, it just tastes sacred. It tastes rich in these like almost bitter tannins, but it's sweet enough because it's like the first, um, the ceremony match is like the first harvest. Can I mentioned. address what Katie is? Is something, is stevia inflammatory? I read this and was so sad to hear it. No, it's so, so alkalizing and mm -hmm. so it's anti-inflammatory. So, so much lately, coming from? all of these sweeteners, the natural ones and that are not artificial are being really dragged through the I mud. I posted your article too. Okay, thanks Nick. Um, xylitol, erythritol, stevia. It, remember when we first launched Trim Healthy about, you know, I guess it was 14 years ago almost now, stevia was big in the mud. Like, it was even told it causes infertility and all these things. Oh, we had so many Trim Healthy babies. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and then, and then so, you know, we presented the evidence like, hey, it's a natural plant. It doesn't do all this. We're fine with this. We've used this for years. No, not us. People, South American mm -hmm. tribes have been using it for forever. So that all kind of went away. 
And then in the last couple of years, it's been a big push against these sweeteners too. Xylitol, erythritol, stevia again, and it's all coming back. Listen, I'm not Who is funding all this? I'm not a huge conspiracy theorist. I'm 80% conspiracy theorist. Same. But we a lot of people want some sugar dead. in this world. Yes, there's a reason to keep us sick. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Stevia is a natural GLP-1. It's one of those mm. things that release those increasing hormones in the gut. Now, we know, KJ, mm -hmm. some of us need heavier hitters, right? Yeah. Some people just need a little bit more GLP-1, but still, stevia is a promoter of GLP-1. What is GLP-1? It is jolly anti-inflammatory. It's one of the most anti-inflammatory substances in our bodies. Yeah. Mm. So no, stevia is not inflammatory, it's anti-inflammatory. Off my rent. Yeah, I love your rent. <laughs> All right, this is new for me. I haven't tried it yet. I'm not a man, but I'm gonna drink it. Oh, anyway. the, the, oh, you I got drink the man um, stuff. You got the, the shake. Yeah, the the guy okay shake. for me to drink this. Of course it is. Oh yeah. Okay. What well, shake is it? It's the um, chocolate. Oh yeah. Oh, oh the wow. man. Mm -hmm. That's that's Serene's oh, yeah. son's her co his company. It's it's that. a brother company. Trim healthy. Mm -hmm. You guys don't mind me eating my lunch. I feel a bit smoky. Oh, I'll pro. I always eat. Oh, oh I have blueberries nice. in my teeth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little. No. Vanilla Optimized Way. It's my favorite of the what Optimized do do Way. Um, I put it in my coffee sometimes, mm -hmm. once in a while. Not additional to your tablespoon of super sweet? No, I'll like not go okay. half a tablespoon of super sweet if I put this in. But I do this in the afternoon when I haven't, a lot of times I don't want to eat in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. I'm busy, I'm working, I just want a snack. Yeah. I'll have coffee with this in it. Okay. I'll make my latte yeah. with this. That's great because yeah. you don't have that hunger even in the afternoon yeah. because you're, you know, you're on a, yeah, you're on um, one of the GOP ones and so that's great you're getting yeah. your protein in. Yeah, and I don't, I love the chocolate but I like it for just can chocolate I, milk. Can I yeah. ask a geeky mm -hmm. dorky question? Do you do the full serving of mm -hmm. the protein in the full quarter cup? Yes, I do. Force fist pump. No, that wasn't force. She wanted to fist pump I me. I felt it. I just been waiting. For her, girl hates it when a fist bump. She's like, if you put your fist out. No, you're Dory, I'm not me. hiding my lunch from you. It is, it is a Greek yogurt. They can't see. You have to tip it forward. I mean, it's really oh, slurped on. upon now. Really slurped. I mean, it's mostly gone, but you can see the lovely shade of fuchsia. It is beautiful. Yes. You know what it also fuchsia smells like pepper and jam. Yeah, it does. Yeah. These, I can't live without these. If you ever stop making these, I'll die. Uh, orange, is that my orange, favorite? Orange, orange, orange is my second favorite. Oh, Cherry is my favorite, but they, okay. there was none there. Uh -huh. But I keep these in my car at all times, and yeah. wherever we go, I get a large unsweetened iced tea and put one of these in it. Oh. Lemon or this? Oh. The lemon's okay. I could try that. This, but I'm not a big lemon person. Or it's yeah. too. Tart to me, so, but yeah. I love orange and the cherry, and I put it in my unsweetened tea huh. everywhere we go. Huh. No, oh, I've never heard of that combo. Oh, yeah. that's amazing. You just not an somebody's unsweetened life. tea person. Um, and if I go out to eat at a restaurant, sometimes I'll get club soda in a oh, yeah, it's like having a orange soda. soda. It's like Fanta. Good yeah, you just Fanta. gotta you gotta not touch it. You pour a little on top and wait, or otherwise. You know, yes. you've got a geyser on the table. Is it just yeah. the first initial little pour that yes. creates the Yes, you put it geyser? and then wait. You don't touch it, don't stir it, just don't even The whole thing? It. Or just a little? A little bit, and then yeah. once it calms down, you can put a little more inside. Okay. Huh. But back to this going in unsweet tea. It's, it's this is new, best. because I'm thinking, I don't like unsweet tea by itself, mm -mm. and I hardly ever get it, but sometimes I've already had my two coffees in a day, Yeah. and I want something special, Yeah. and I want a tiny bit more caffeine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I we. Drink on sweet. I drink on sweet tea all the time. You kind of you don't really count it as caffeine. You're like, hey, this is just a drink. I I drank so help sixteen ounces of it before bed last night. It doesn't well, bother me. Okay, yeah, I drink a lot of caffeine. Probably too much. Some body wash. That's actually for my husband. Oh, yes. Really? I take it on makeup Taking your makeup off with it is amazing. Um, it's like my one thing in the shower besides from shampoo. You're supposed to take yeah. your makeup off tonight. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I don't take my makeup. Well, luckily, do you use our makeup? I do. Oh, okay, well, then I'm not. That's why my I skin. I can still fist pump you. Hey, JD. Hmm. And then, oh, that's another bag. You know, you're right. Someone said I keep going out of screen, and I just watch myself going out. So, of do you have, when you take your makeup off in the morning before we apply, or just like once a week? She just keeps going. <laughs> it just it's keeps so healing. No, I met somebody the other day that does the same thing. She's like, I just keep reapplying, and occasionally I'll just take it. I'll just. Do you apply moisturizer? Oh, you apply your big pillow. Oh, yeah. I just... Oh, the top of makeup. Yeah, nobody knows. Except now. Hey, so you have your own set of rules. 
I do that all the time. And I, um, I wash my face in the shower. But then when I really get the makeup off is when I get out of the shower and wipe it off with a yes. towel. Yes. And yes. it's all over the towel. I'm, yes. Yeah. I'm a little lazy with my skincare routine. It has to be super simple or I'm not going to do it. Yeah, and super simple is I don't wash my face. Um, <laughs> and then essentials. I'd love to tell you a quick story about this. Okay. My mother has bulging discs in her back that have come up in the last couple of years. And she went from being very active, very healthy dog groomer all of her life, very strong, to barely able to walk. And she came down in October of last year and I had to buy a wheelchair just to push her around the store. She could not walk. I said, Mom, I don't know if this is gonna help, but take this because it's supposed to be healing. I don't know what it's gonna do, but take it. She takes a tablespoon in the morning, a tablespoon at night, and her pain is all but gone. They canceled her back surgery. No yes. way. Yes. That's from essential, the essential yes. amino acid makes it. How old is your mom? She is, I have to get this right or she'll be mad. 72. Wow. Yeah, so she's in that area of life where your essential amino acids just diminish. Yeah. She takes and it so twice she wasn't a day. The repair. She called and she's like, if you're at the cafe, buy me five bags. Oh. I cannot run out. Yeah, and she feels so, so different. We were about to have somebody on our party, an amazing lady. Mm. How old is she now? She's she is well, she's post breast cancer survivor and she yeah. went through a lot and she's and out she, of her world. And she was the longest person like, like your mom. Yeah. She was the longest yeah. person on a ventilator during COVID and that mm -hmm. lived. Wow. You know how because once they've been on it for a long, 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 long time, usually yeah. they, they get the yeah, the symptoms where it just Alright, skip yeah, but she she lived and she, she couldn't walk, she had to learn to walk again and she takes the essential with Baybab and she thinks it's part of her strengthening like she swears but right i am 100 oh, percent positive Lord. that's what's helped mm. my mother wow all right next and then i bought a few skincare things just a couple oh and some maple extract oh I you put the maple in in my kefir mm. i struggle to get kefir down i don't like it i because you're not a salad person yeah it's a struggle but i know it's good for me so i put this and a whole bunch of super we're gonna have somebody else one day on our party too if that's okay with you but i'm just inviting people Hey, um, but she had this um, terrible breast infection, kind of like a, well, she didn't know what it was, she tried everything, she tried the gentian violet, actually it was more like a, uh, maybe a yeast thing, curl, she tried yeah. everything, everything, every kind of natural remedy, and then she started doing the home fermented kefir, and it was gone in a week. Mm -hmm. wow. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hey, Nate, can you pass me my backpack? I need to put my. But she had it for like months and months and months and months and months and couldn't get rid yeah. of it. Yeah. Oh, I've got my own keeper story, but we're not here for me. We're here for no. KJ. We're here for KJ, but I'm just wanting to help KJ with her keeper. No, you should drink it now. I will drink it because it's good for me. Mm -hmm. I don't have to love everything that I put in my body. Right. I don't have to enjoy all of it if it's good for me. Yeah. That's right. So I do maple extract and a whole lot of super sweet. I'm just putting my post lunch. You're um, yeah, just in on. case we all we never make I'm it again. I'm scared to death. If you ever come on and say we're not making it anymore. No, I don't know how I'll live with it. I, I won't. Make I won't. Anymore, so we have. What to. color is yours? Um, this is. I have. A this is a foundation. I can't see it on Facebook. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's my foundation. Everyday woman. That's my color. You yeah. Right. Let's put our faces together. What do I do, honey girl? <laughs> I think honey girl. Yeah. And I do um a, some. Sometimes I do Southern Belle, oh, and sometimes mix. I mix yeah. them. Yeah, and I also have a season, much right? darker one. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the color, a real dark one that I will put a little bit in. And just in the winter I might mix. Those. In the summer when my freckles get a little bit yeah. fricklier, I can just go with it. Hey, and this is healing. Like she said, sometimes she doesn't wash her makeup off because it's healing. I'm telling you what, I you know I've said it before, I had a daughter with this acne infection. She wasn't prone to acne, she just got this terrible infection. Nothing would take it away. She tried so many things, and the day she wanted to like go out and hide that she was having an infection, the next day it was clearer. So she worked out that this was like one of her best ointments. So oh. she wore this until it got better. And it I've got better. always had dry patches, and before the beef tallow has helped, mm -hmm. but even before that, this changed. That I just stopped having dry patches here and around the top of my forehead. Wow. It just it's really changed my skin. And yeah, we're trying to get a new manufacturer, honestly, because we're too much of a small makeup company, and we're in with this big manufacturer that makes like. And that's why we run out of things big, a lot because we're on the bottom of and the list. And we're the, we're a little baby; they don't really care about us. So we're trying to go to a smaller company that will get the care and love we need. Yeah. Somebody said, should you store the makeup in the fridge? I don't. Nah. 
Hmm, I've um, never even thought of that. And I've had makeup that's been like, you know, sometimes Pearl, we can get the ones that, I don't know, like have, haven't sold for a while and we just take them home. Hey, Heidi's saying that she still... can't, I wish you had microphones for when you go live. I think oh. some people, is it us? Do you, have, do you do a microphone when you're just on the live? No, I wear an AirPod, so I think it picks it up from there. Oh, um, so... But I think, should we yell? We're getting, we're getting mics. Mikey, our guy said we're going to get mm. mics for our live. It sometimes Sorry. does matter though what, it does matter on our end, but it probably matters if whether you've got mm. your phone turned up to or not. Yeah. I mean, just to blame you. Right, right. It's not our fault. <laughs> Never. Because <laughs> Andrea says she can hear us just fine. But you know what? My, it's, or if you want to blame someone, blame Mikey. Mikey's right. outside and visual. Way to go, Mikey. Audio guy. I shall not be blamed. Um, <laughs> hey, let's get on to the meat topic because we've been half an hour goofing. Yeah, but I've enjoyed myself. I've been having a blast. <laughs> what are you going to bring us for meat? I want to talk about how to stay on plan when your family... You know what? We could go... You could bring it forward if, if KJ's voice is not strong. I can holler. Mighty, mighty like ours are. <laughs> my mouth is quite loud. Okay. Um, my family is actually 0% on plan. Oh, I shouldn't say 0% on plan. He did eat pie at the cafe today. Oh, did you like it? Gone in 20 seconds. Yeah, he was, he was like, this is He would show his face, but he's not allowed his face shown, apparently. It's a shtick. Not sure Gone in doing. 20 seconds. No, the glory is too much for the average person. Oh, okay. Yeah. KJ's husband, <laughs> his, the glory of his face is too much for you ladies. Mm-hmm. You will kill over you. if you ever see him. Because the ma- <laughs> Tilsa must be in there with KJ. She did a side eye. Because the manliness they know me well. is hey, the manliness is pretty true though. He's a vet. Come on. Yeah, now. he's a he's a ex firefighter. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But they no, he, he is a retired firefighter. He's not ex. <laughs> Sorry. 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 That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. I can tell him to zip it. That's like saying ex Um. <laughs> they they're not on plan at all. My family is not on plan, and I hear from women so often. Well, I can't stay on plan. My family's not on plan. My family doesn't eat on plan. How it's too hard. I have to make extra meals. I think that's a bunch of nonsense. Mm-hmm. I think it's totally totally doable. I can make pretty much any meal that they're having for dinner. I can a couple of tweaks. And it's, it's perfectly on plan. So one of the things that I like to do, he's a meat and potatoes kind of a guy. Um, so whatever I'm, whatever I'm making for him, whether it's chicken thighs or a steak or pork chops or whatever, I make them potatoes or mac and cheese. That's about the two sides that they eat, okay? <laughs> potatoes and mac and cheese. But for me... And is it like box mac and cheese or like... Yeah, well, why not? Well, if you're gonna go mac and cheese, why not? Sometimes it's, like, oh. it's not even the box; it's the stuff you buy pre-made With that you put squeeze? in the microwave. Right. What about yeah. that squeezy stuff? That's not real food. Okay, he's um, making a face. He, no, he he's shaking his head. He's nuts. He, the Velveeta. Yeah. He loves that. Oh, you love. Yes, he does. The Velveeta shells and cheese. I think it helps. The more you feed him the Velveeta, the worse he'll feel, and then the sooner he'll get on plan. It's my plan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Tank his own <laughs> self, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I never claimed to be smart. <laughs> so, I think that, honestly, I think we all make excuses about staying on plan. Because it's easier to go off plan sometimes than it is to do the, what feels like the hard thing in the moment. But for me, it's, it, it, there's so much power in staying on plan and how you feel. It is so easy to make it work for you. Is Your, your husband's not 100% on plan, right? No, he's very far off plan, except um, he will like my meals. If he, if we ever go to a restaurant and he's choosing his own, it's so far. It's the furthest thing you could find from THM. Yeah. He will seek out anything non-organic, filled with sugar. If Pearl's process. like, let's go to this store, he'll be like, this it says organic. <laughs> it says fresh. It says fresh. <laughs> word, he's allergic to the word fresh. You should tell him what you're trick me. Yes. Oh. So um no, but 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 at home, even on I do give him THM meals at home, but even then they're different to mine. Yeah. So mine will be kind of I'm as I've gotten more along the lines of, of my journey, I'm more puristy than I used to be. Whereas he'll if I do it like a chicken salad, 
Hazel had ranch and the bacon bits and the grated cheese and all those kind of basic S things. And mine will be, you know, the balsamic and a spritz of oil and the sprouted, um, you know, pumpkin seeds and the goat cheese. So we're having the same protein. You're yeah. just doing it differently. Right. Whether and on the plan or off. And it's no extra effort, really. No, There's really no extra effort. For me, I turn to green beans a lot. Yeah. When they're having a side dish, I'll have green beans with nooch on them. And sometimes he'll eat those. But for me, all I did, the only change in the meal was that I added a big old pile of green beans. I took the mac and cheese off my plate. Yeah. It takes, it's so easy to stay on plan when your family is off. And you get to act superior to them. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, what do you think about the fear of missing out, though, thing? Because I think that's the big thing big is fear there's something other. Yes, if that's the food you grew up with, okay, you yeah. didn't. Yeah. So you really can't speak to that. I'm trying to think, I'm imagining what I feel of missing out. You know, on a lot of people yeah. have that as their comfort food, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, you kind of grew up that way yeah like we grew up pop -tarts. Pop -tarts. Yeah. so yeah so kind of letting that go and letting someone else eat them in front of you i think that's a big deal how do you address that well in the beginning of not eating those things that was kind of hard and i i did i felt a little bit of jealousy and frustration depended on the day it was either going to make me cry or you know frustrated that i couldn't eat it and even now sometimes yeah. when they're eating things like pizza hut yeah sometimes i'm like I really want a piece of that. But I've learned that I can do hard things. It's not that hard for me to stay on plan. It's not, literally if I if I don't eat the pizza, five minutes later, nothing happened. I just didn't eat the pizza. And you're choosing your hard, right? Like when yes. you heard somebody say, yeah. years and years and years and years and years and years ago, yeah. like some original Trim Healthy Lady, she's like, I just choose my hard. Like, yeah, yeah. it sucks sometimes to deny myself something that's so yummy, but then Boy, it's way more harder to feel miserable. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and I know that that turns me down a path of going back to it over and over again. And I mean, you're sitting here now, out of you were when you first started uh, came to THM for the for the time when you stuck to it. Mm -hmm. You were uh, pre-diabetic or pre-diabetic. Okay, type two. Pre-diabetic, pre mm -hmm. inflamed, mm -hmm. um, very inflamed, very inflamed. Yeah. You know, I don't know what it was, it doesn't really matter, but 60 or 70 pounds higher. Mm -hmm. So saying those, my choice is different, it's a whole new world for It you. is, it is. I feel good. Weight or not, the inflammation going away mm -hmm. has changed. I mean, I sleep better. I'm, I'm not limping as much as I used to. I have some hip issues, mm -hmm. and so I limp a little when I've been sitting for a while, but I used to like, limp for a long time before I got like oil in my joints. Now <laughs> it just takes me a couple minutes. That yeah. inflammation is so reduced Yay. and it's been for over 1400 days and it's just wow. been honestly the last thousand days have been easy. To I love how that. she counts it into days. Yeah. I like that. Well I'm kind of the point now. So the four, first 400 were more challenging. Yeah. Yeah. It was more challenging in the beginning. It was but I had you know, people to support me and keep me going. And it, but it was, it was still harder, but it, now it's not. Like, I look at that other food as, it's somebody else's, it's not my food. Yeah. It's just, yeah. that's it's, not It's mine. kind of when you look at <laughs> different food for different seasons, like baby food, you know, they have different yeah. foods, they have milk all day long, yeah. and then they have baby food. Well, it's for a baby. Yeah. It's not necessarily for me. And sometimes yeah. it's for the trash, or it's for the leftover box, because sometimes I'll look I used to look at leftovers and think, ooh, you know, Can't leave even if it's super healthy, I should be eating that because it's there and, you know, mm -hmm. you've got to finish the pot, you know. Right. And then I had to change my lens and say, no, I don't want to see my tummy as the doggy bag or the trash. Right. You know, so my tummy is ex different from that. There is trash and then there's a doggy bag <laughs> and my tummy's not yeah. one of those. Well, so. and I don't want to... I don't like to waste. I used to think, oh, I have to eat it. I don't want to waste the food. I can't waste or throw away food, but it's going away either way. Mm -hmm. So it's either going in here or in the trash. Mm -hmm. what, yeah. It's it, more wasteful going in my belly. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'd rather store it in the fridge for a few days before I decide to chuck it away right. than right. rather store it in my belly. feel better about yeah. it. At least it's sat in the fridge for a while. Yeah. People had the opportunity to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> 
I love it though. I love, I love the fact that you're on Planned Your Family's Not. It's, it's a really fantastic testimony. But you never say never. Like, you know, yeah. the first year when... Oh, I got hope for this guy. Yeah. Before we had a book or anything, when Serena and I, before Serena and I were writing a book, you know, when we were, you and I were experimenting with all this whole trim healthy thing, and I did it for a full year, and my husband um, didn't want anything to do, he just thought it was another thing. Serena and I have always mm -hmm. been into the latest ways to eat, you know, everything, and he's just like, oh, another thing, because I made him go vegan at one point. I made him go keto at one point. I made him do all these things. He's like, you're not making me do this. And so, you know, I just did it for a full year and he watched me and he would eat after his meal at night, he would eat four chocolate chip cookies and then potato chips. And that was after the reasonably healthy meal I made him. And um, that was just what he did. And he was grumpy and his blood sugar would get high and then it would go low. And then he wasn't feeling well, so I said, honey, just let me give you some trim healthy meals. When I make them at home, see if you like them. Well, he did. He started to feel so much better. So he calls himself kind of on plan when we're at home. But I never, like, forced it on him or even, I guess, thought that he'd be, there'd be a day that he would start. It just happened. Right. Just and for some it's like 10 years down the track for their husband sometimes it's never Filson but Serena and I've got a feeling no, I've got a, I'm going yeah I've got a big <laughs> feeling about Tilson <laughs> she's trying to trick me <laughs> there are times I reckon he's going to his own inspiration here real soon yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know I, I try to sneak veggies and stuff into his food but he'll say what's that weird taste and I'm like nothing and I'll, you know, he'll eat it and then tell him there was cauliflower in it. I like doing that. She so. tried to put pink Himalayan salt in the bun and I caught it. Oh, hold on, you're it's even a, salt. you're even a, you're even think that pink Himalayan salt is weird, Tilson? Ask her. You yes. knew, know the difference between pink mm -hmm. Himalayan salt to regular mm -hmm. salt, regular mm -hmm. refined salt. Like white table salt. Okay, we you're were a step up from yeah. my husband then. Yeah, He's yeah, a yeah. psychopath. Yeah. Okay, I, I was making meatloaf once and I ran out of the regular salt and my mother said, just put the pink salt. He's not going to know the difference. One bite in. What's different about what? this? He knew. Immediately he knew. Oh, that is some interesting. But, Actually, but, I've been, I've been giving him <laughs> he little just bits. Told me. He said he didn't know the difference. He just didn't trust me. <laughs> yes, that's what I think it is. Totally. I've been giving him little oh, bits no. ever since and now that's all we Yes, use. micro dosed. He's, yeah. he's kind of become, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, well, after that pie this morning, I'm probably not going to mind it. From now That's right. Now he's he actually easier pie. to trick than right. even he realizes. There was this one time, I'm going to admit this on Facebook, and he's going to die when he finds out. But no, one I time, a few years ago, he, he always said he would never drink anything less than whole milk. And so I poured 2% in the whole milk bottle, and he drank it all. He didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's hilarious. Hilarious. It was years ago now, but that yeah. is so funny. <laughs> oh, so my. Virginia Peck, we got some questions here. Um, do you like meat? We 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 would me? love you meat. I love meat. I actually prefer. I love meat, but I actually prefer sa Like salmon is my go-to protein. That's meat to me. It is. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a living. It's thing. like people saying they're vegetarian. They still eat fish. I'm like, yeah, yeah. vegetarian. But the meat of the sea. The meat the of the sea. sea. That's right. Yeah. But I'm a steak um, lover. You love steak. Do you like it rare or do you yes. like it well done? No, I want it to kind of have her beat. I oh, love it. We needed so to get, what happened to Arden Steaks? Yeah. The KJ. Not sure if they were just he, finishing. He makes a lot of great yeah. steaks for people to come up. But he was just busy, I guess. Um, if we have any more questions, um, for, do we have any more questions for KJ about <laughs> Eating on plan when your family would rather die than eat on plan. Mm -hmm. Because now is your chance to hear the wisdom. Um, you know, Serene, you would... Can't afford beef. I love THM soups and veggie recipes. Can you just afford the the um, regular grocery store crap beef and then and do what I used to do when I was really, really poor and that is just like you buy the, the non-grass fed, you just buy the whatever, the big old cheap logs and once you cook it then you pour boiling water over it and all of that where all the hormones are kept are in the fat mm -hmm. you know all the toxins, the toxins are in the fat so you drain off all of the fat make it very very lean and you do it a few times 
And then you can, if you want it to be not like an E, to like a real lean, you can just add your healthy fat, mm -hmm. like a little coconut yeah. oil back into it. Or that's what I honestly, that's what I do because I cannot stand grass fed. Really? Yeah. Oh. Is it just too dry or what is it? No, it's got a taste. A little gamey. We bought a half cow grass, oh, grass fed that one is and strong. ended up having to sell it. Yeah. Of, you have to put grass fed. If you buy your own cow, you got to stick it in the crock pot or the Instapot. That's the secret, I think. Yeah, because it's tougher. It was just. This was just the taste. Just really? Yeah. I didn't like Maybe the taste. it got into some. Jill weird is part. asking how much salmon is too much. You, you better ask me because I don't know. I have a lot of it. Um, because I have so much of it, I'm not worried about the mercury though. I because there's something in salmon that takes care of it. Yeah. Um, I do. I have graduated after all these years on just farm salmon. And everyone says, oh, that's got dyes to it. No, that's astaxanthin, which is healthy for you. Healthy for you. And it is a red color, but that's natural. I mean, Pearl, you do sockeye too. Which that's is what I'm the... saying. I've graduated to sockeye. I didn't used to like the flavor. It took yeah, me Yeah, but years. the sockeye, Pearl, is its natural color. They don't add color to sockeye. I know sockeye. that. I know that, but okay. I'm, I'm just saying. Farm. No, farmed is what I did before that. Oh. And, and farmed is not pink or red, but they add astaxanthin. Yeah, but you'll still eat farmed from time to oh, time. Oh, I eat farmed a lot still. Yeah. But all I'm saying is that I eat salmon about four to five times a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you hate salmon, you can make salmon burgers. It just really helps with just, if you're not a salmon eater, because you can kind of like add more flavor. I'm just not it. good at making it. The, the salmon we had the other night was delicious but mm. mine just never tasted you ever tried have you tried the fresh though or are you always trying frozen because the fresh it's is always what's... frozen oh that's why yeah, but you gotta thaw it first mine will turn okay. anyone into a salmon lover thaw your piece of salmon and then do put your oven on but you must admit fresh is yummier yeah it is but now i don't i can't distinguish because of oh. my method you just gotta yeah. thaw it first okay mm. And then season on both sides with mineral salt, nutritional yeast, um, chili powder, just dark skin chili on, powder. Skin on, skin on. Doesn't matter. Okay. And then, um, and I put dried rosemary on both sides of the piece of salmon. And then just spray your pan just a little bit, doesn't need too much. Cover it and cook 425. It depends. If you want to chop up that piece with kitchen scissors, it will only take 10 minutes. 20 minutes for a regular piece of salmon. It'll be succulent. It'll be steamed. And it will be tasty right. and I'll it's do so it. amazing. I'll do it. That over a salad with some goat cheese. We just got oh, fireworks. Goat cheese. goat cheese and some like. Who's in fireworks? Is that Mikey? We just got fireworks. No, it was just the meta AI. Oh, AI. Yeah. They know what's going on. Because I said something amazing like that. Yeah. Or just, I said something. They like salmon. Yeah. yeah. Someone wants to know what the fuels are in salmon. That's So if it's farm raised, it's always a mess. Well, I think it's always an S no matter what. Even sockeye is mostly S, but here's how you get um, a not a fuel full salmon is in the pouch because it's a small amount and they haven't got any of the skin in there. Um, I have, you can only get very small amounts of salmon usually because salmon is a fatty fish. It's got the really good omega-3s. So the only salmon I've really seen, maybe with five grams or less, are smaller pieces or pouch salmon. I don't like pouch salmon. Mm -hmm. No, I hate pouch salmon. I'd rather have tuna than pouch salmon. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it either. No. I just, I made a salad with it the other day and the whole thing it's gross. got thrown out. Yeah, right? it gets like barky. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't mind canned salmon. It's different oh, flavor than the pouch. No, I don't like that Canned either. salmon into burgers or in a Thai soup, it works. You don't need, Shirley was saying something about uh, rosemary. You don't, if you don't like rosemary, you, it's not necessary. It doesn't taste like a pine tree. So okay, my husband hates it too. Hates. My oh, husband hates yeah, all herbs. herbs. He would too. He, yeah, he doesn't herbs? like seasoning. He likes yeah. salt. salt. That's it. No pepper. He doesn't like garlic that much. No, He's, I can do a little garlic, but he doesn't like it. Is there a write up on essential? Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, on, on, on the product page. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just reading some of the questions. Yeah. Does KJ make her own kefir? I have kefir greens in my fridge and my freezer. What does that mean, KJ? <laughs> <laughs> I drink store-bought because it's simpler. Right. Um, I, it's not hard. Making kefir yeah. is super simple, but I, I tend to struggle with getting, like drinking it all. So. There's no shame in that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one should be shamed because they don't drink. No, there's no drink. shame at all. I'm going to stay out of the conversation about, um, like, it's a different, it's a different product. 
Yeah, kefir from the store is a different product. It's not home fermented. Well, yogurt. it's not. It's, it's not like really kefir. It's not really kefir. It's drinkable yogurt. And bless you for drinking drinkable yogurt. Yeah, yeah. nothing wrong with that. It's unplanned. Um, but, but you know, Serene yes. was. I do make fermented vegetables. Yeah, I eat oh, loads of oh, fermented vegetables. I hear about your fermented vegetables. Yeah, see, oh, that's amazing. So easy. I take a huge bowl and I put cauliflower, carrots, peppers, onions, cucumbers. I think about it. And tomatoes. And for those that are that are listening that were worried about budget, you know, the people about meat and all that and its expense, you don't have to use organic veggies mm, for fermenting because the fermentation takes care of all the toxins. Yeah. I make I make a huge bowl and I chop them really small. Okay. Into like, really small like pieces. can you do it in the food process at chicka 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 chicka? Oh or probably not that they small. don't go that small. It's like diced. Okay. Little pieces. I put them in a big bowl, I put a couple of tablespoons of salt, mix what kind it around. Of salt? Mineral? I do mineral salt. Okay. And just worried that Chilson was in the kitchen with no, you. Eyes, he, so he's complaining about the smell of them. my fermented veggies. He complains about the smell of them. But and then the onions are my favorite fermented onions. And I put them all in a container, sit them on my counter for about eight days, and then I throw them in the fridge. And I eat off them for a week, two weeks. Big. I make big jars of it. I have it with almost every meal. Wow. Oh, so so you don't measure and do all of that junk that makes people not want to do it. Oh, I just pour salt on it, put it in a container. And I put it. You don't have to shove it down and make sure the brine comes up and all of this hogwash. I, I put a weight on it just because, and I add the water to make sure that the veggies are all covered. And if some aren't covered, it's not the end of the world. Where did out. you learn this technique? I have uh, a person on my team, a very good friend, marvelous Mary Malone, is what we call her. Mary She's Malone, all yeah. about fermenting, and she taught you this very, very easy technique. Yes. And so you don't even put them in special fermenting quart jars. It goes in a bowl in your... I make it in a bowl. Then I yeah. put them in big mason jars. But in the eight ones. days, is it in a bowl? No, it's in a jar. No, no, it's okay. in the jar. And then I put one of those. I call them happy nipples. Happy nipples. You put a happy nipple on it. Yes. It looks like it's it looks just like a, it's a fermenting. There's a lot of things that look like nipples. I'm telling you why. It's a rubber thing. The lights at our church service have... Nipple caps on the thing, and all the babies are staring up. <laughs> like the whole church, they're not concentrating on God, none. No. Until they're like, Yes. Breakfast. <laughs> a little bit of it's a pickle pipe. Yes, yeah, a pickle pipe. I call it a pickle. Yeah, I, I put that on top, and I just put it on the counter, and it's I separate know you could, I, I love this. I don't know you could do it so simply, though. Oh, yeah, it's so, so easy. And where do you buy these happy nipples? Amazon. Amazon. Okay, okay, but I don't punch in happy nipple. <laughs> no, don't type in happy nipple. That's a totally different. Okay, so I want to talk about the shame of yeah, we weren't agree. trying to ch shame KJ about her keeper because Serene was using keeper. Somebody for, say I was shaming her because I wasn't. No, no, no. I was I just was, making sure. Okay, sorry. Because Serene was doing keeper for a full more than twenty years before I started, and I'm just like, that's not for me. That's too time. I never shamed you, did I, girl? Never did, mm -hmm. Serene. I now I look back, I kind of think why. I'd be more shameful, like towards my little sister, if she didn't do it. Like the, my big sister, you were just very enjoying yourself in your life and letting yeah. me not do it. Yeah. Now I look back and I'm like, it's kind of mean of you. Yeah, I wouldn't be the pretty and healthy one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm now that I'm a teacher nerd, though, I can't do no. that. I love it, but I think not everybody yeah. has to. Mm -hmm. I. More than just keeper, I will make keeper cheese because mm. I sit it on my counter, forget it for three days, and then it, you know. It yeah. becomes cheese, basically. Yeah. So then I strain it sometimes, and we'll, I'll use that like on bagels. And but you know what? If you're uh, making those fermented veggies, you know, yeah, pure, yeah. I just say choose. Like yeah. fermented veggies have keeper. It's hard to have more than one or two cakes. It is hard. Yeah. So like, I don't do kombucha, and there's heaps of like kombucha amazing people, but you know, you just choose your pet. I, I made yeah. water keeper once when we lived in Maine. And the house we were living in now has blue stains all over the ceiling. Because yes, really? I exploded. exploded. Oh, wow. I opened it and it went, the blueberries went up. They're, oh, they were all. <laughs> Wilson was really happy. You know, <laughs> though, I um, <laughs> buy my fermented veggies, which aren't as good as homemade. Our sister used to make them for us for a while there. Mm. They were good. But yeah, what I mean is one at a time if you can't juggle two, right? Yeah. 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 They're so good. Yeah, I got I got two pets. I've got sourdough starter and keeper, and that's as much as I, I can. really want to do sourdough. I got those twins just going in there. Not good at it. It always comes out. Yeah, but you not try my, my my peasant bread. It's simple, right, Pearl? She could do it. She could do yeah. that. Well, I'm not even doing it yet, but I want to one day. <laughs> and we've got some more questions here. How far are we into this live anyway? We're almost at an hour. Uh, are, huh. we, are we at an hour already? Nate, is that what you said? Almost. 
Almost in an hour. What's okay. wrong? I'm yawning a lot and it's not because I'm bored. I'm not bored. Pearl, do you <laughs> yawn some days and you don't know why? Um, yeah, but I, usually it's after a big workout. Yeah, I that's didn't, what. I, I did a huge work out workout today. and I'm just <laughs> keeping on yawning. And it's got, I'm not even feeling tired <laughs> and I'm not bored. So just please forgive me, all of you people that make your workout. Where do you buy your salmon? Yes. Um, I am asked. I buy my salmon at various different places. I Costco, if you're a Costco member, Serene buys her frozen wok. Uh, sockeye. 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 sockeye salmon from there and I really think it's great. Yeah. I've been buying mine from Sprouts, but I think yours is a better price, Serene. Yeah. And they're in perfect little six ounce packages, which I like. Because you can take them out and thaw them in water for 20 minutes and they're ready, right? Just rip the band-aid off, Sol, as she was slowly opening the door. <laughs> yeah. And it was slower and louder and like more. But if I'm, I'm buying fresh salmon, I just buy it from the supermarket and they have these gigantic pieces that are like nine, ten ounces, and I take them home and cut them into two. Because that's much less expensive and you've got two meals and you don't need nine, ten ounces of salmon. Mm -hmm. It's overdone. My husband hates sockeye salmon. No, it does have a very strong flavor. How do I it's, know? It's firmer and drier. Yeah, firmer and yeah, drier it's almost red. and almost bitter, but you can come to love it. Oh, I love it. Yeah. It's the one that's incredible for the skin. Phil has the DMAE in it. It's so anti-inflammatory for yeah. the skin. It's so amazing. And Dr. Pericone, that, you know, famous dermatologist, skincare mm -hmm. person, he was like, you have to eat salmon every day for your skin. Interesting. Okay, do we, we've got a bunch of questions on all the other things. Any other questions about your family is not on plan and you are and how that makes you sad? Like, we want to address those tears. Mm -hmm. Seriously. You look cute when you did that, girl. I know, I found myself looking kind of cute too. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Jeff and you cute. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Barramundi is a good fish. Oh, that's really from good. Australia, isn't it? Barramundi. There's a lot of barramundi down under. Yeah. <laughs> One time we tried to ferment veggies, they got nasty. Maybe I just need a happy nipple. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably what was wrong. But what does yeah. happy nipples do? It's just a, it's just a, it's got a little <laughs> hole in it and it leaks out. Yeah, yeah I guess so you, you don't have to burp it. it. Yeah, you don't have to burp it that way. That's and if you fill yeah. it too full, sometimes I look over and there's like water shooting out of it. Oh, oh so it's like those two-piece things? Because I've got those two-piece things. This one's not. You just put it on and put your cut your. Uh, you it's know, a one your piece. Ring. Yeah, it's well, just that's, a that's rubber cover. Happy you put your the thing on. I have to to you know burp it by itself. Mm -hmm. It's like pieces and you lose no, it. No, this is just. Oh. It's literally just a floppy rubber. Okay, so, so Lynn says my kids make fun of my healthy food, but only one lives at home. I have to buy him mostly separate food, so. Lynn, um, how old are these kids that make fun? And here's the thing, I think that we can probably either, either get offended or just have fun along the way That's too. That's right, yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't let it bother me. And my anymore. children, some of them are super puristy, like more than serene, and some are like their father, um, even though they were raised, and they look at all things as THM. That's THM, that can't taste good, because, you know, I kind of fed them THM stuff. Um, and I just kind of find it humorous and just It's humorous the when they're older than 13. Yeah. Like if I had a three-year-old, I'm telling them what to eat. Yeah, of course, when we're in charge, but when they're making their own decisions, as long as it's not nasty, right? I yeah. Mean, I mean, Marin, my daughter, she's going to be 17 this year, and she's kind of at an age where she has to make her own decisions. I encourage healthy mm -hmm. um healthy choices. I also encourage healthy portions when she is eating mm -hmm. something that is like not that great. I say, well, stick to a serving so that at least she's not, yeah. you know, overdoing it. Um, and we, we cut out things like red dye for sure. We yeah. cut that out. Um, but she also will learn her own path. I, yes. I know that if I force it on her, it might develop some kind of disordered eating. So I let her make her own choices and encourage her to make the best she can. And in the meantime, she's watching me and yes. she's learning from me and I'm an example to her. And someday yeah. she will see the importance of that and she'll know what to do because mom did it. Yeah, I, I like agree. That. I agree. Absolutely. Yeah, that's like, I mean, in our home, I try and make healthy eating fun and delicious and have lots of treats and stuff. But you know, I only buy what I'm gonna buy in my home. And so mm -hmm. I don't bring in, you know, whatever for, for my family. But um, over 13, they make their own choice. If they're yeah, in a potluck, they're they, making, can, they can have whatever. Or if they're earning their own money and they yeah. go to the store. Yeah. You know, I mean, 
But you know, it's amazing. But I sometimes I'll say little comments and I try yeah. and keep them a bit. Well, I humorous. think I think if they're if it's humor, if they're bringing yeah. humor, we could bring humor yeah. and make yeah. the whole house humorous. Because I'll throw what you say to Noble. Yeah. Well, see, Noble is my one. Okay. So out of my five children, Meadow is very healthy. Autumn, psycho, serene. Um, Bowen is a basic healthy eater, although he, he doesn't did, like sweet food. He doesn't. Yeah. Just he just he does macros. He's a bodybuilder. And then Rocky is healthy. Now our Noble. My noble is interesting. He just doesn't. And you joke about it all the time. Yeah, too. I mean, he jokes with me, and I joke with him. What so. would be some things you say, just so people can get the vibe? Um, I mean, like he likes those tuckies things, you know, tuckies. and the tuckies. They're oh, um, yeah. MSG conscious. Basically oh. filled with so dyes, like, preservative yeah. colors, everything, and he just eats them. Like I'm like, oh, he noble. got that from his cousin. Yeah, it's like cousins. noble. You're just honoring your body today. Good to see <laughs> that, mate. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll be a little sarcastic. Because <laughs> he's like, Mom, what are you making? Oh, that smells healthy. Yeah. You know, so we just go back and forth. Yeah. I get, is it trim healthy? All the time. Is that trim healthy? Is that trim healthy? But I saw Mary eating, yeah. drinking your kombucha the other day. Yeah. Trying yes. healthy things. I found finally, after a long time of trying kombucha, found one that I can tolerate. I've never been a big fan, but this guava, I can get on board with. Yes. And if anybody comes on and says, oh, that one's not on plan. No, that God has got GTs, is it? Okay. Oh, right. It was synergy. We are. Um, someone says they really enjoyed our trim healthy okay. you curriculum for their children. It, it really helped them make good choices. And then, um, oh yeah, your daughter's the teacher bans tuckies from school. I don't blame her. Yeah. Oh, I love all these comments. Um, Is Mary like Tilson in that you don't, they don't show their face? No, she shows her face. Yeah, I've yeah. seen them. I've seen yeah. her on some of your. Yep, she shows up. She cooks with me once in a while. She does unboxings whenever I get a she's delivery a from Trim Healthy. She's what? She's a ham. Yeah, whenever I get a box from Trim Healthy, she does an unboxing with me, and she likes to be on camera. Well, we're probably we're probably done. We're over an hour, but um, it was fun having lunch with you guys. Even though I was the only one eating, maybe you were eating in the background. You got what did you guys eat for lunch? I ate at the cafe. I ate a breakfast sandwich a couple oh, hours ago. Nice. What did you what did you guys eat for lunch? I had a post workout shake, so I'm yet to have my second oh. lunch. It was my first lunch. Yeah, yeah. I, it's not really lunch though, it's just workout proteins. That's not really No, I had it it was it all does. it was raw whole goat's milk and oh, I had honey okay. in it and I had a full scoop of whey and then I That's had you're trying to keep the bean and then I had glycine and then I added all kinds <laughs> of stuff. Don't you think goat's milk tastes like Goat. No, milk. Like I think hay. it does when it's when it's pasteurized and it's in the store and being there for a while. But our fresh goat's milk tastes you couldn't tell. This the is from her goat's udder of the morning. Yeah. I love goat cheese, but mm. I love goat. I grew cheese. up. I started out on goat's milk. Yeah. Yeah. Jamie is eating grilled chicken on purple cabbage right now. Yum. That Yummy. 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 Is your cabbage sautéed? What's yeah, the crackers love in child deli meat mini cukes? Oh, that sounds so good, Jill. Yeah. Oh, leftover omelet with scramblers. Secret big boy. You guys are yum. eating yummy lunches. I'm in love here. There are a lot of my team. Oh, there are a lot of your oh. tea. Barbecue chicken thighs and veggies. Is that yum. is Meredith on your team? She's one of my clients. Oh, oh she's a client. Melinda. Jennifer's on my team. Oh. Savory oats with eggs. Oh, is I so love savory. I love oats. Yes, me too. I have a recipe for teriyaki chicken oatmeal, and it is really? so good. It's so it's so comforting to the tummy. Yes. Oats. Sometimes I make really good savory oats, and sometimes they're a disaster. I need a proper talk about a steel recipe. cut. Talk steel about your teriyaki chicken oats. I want to hear about it's, that. I make I cook my um, steel cut oats in chicken broth, Ooh. and then I add chicken to you know, pre cooked chicken that I've had. Yeah. Um, and then I um, usually in a separate pan, I like to saute up like pea pods and zucchini Ooh. and some carrots, and when they're just tender, I put them in with my oats, and then I make a teriyaki sauce. And how, how, how liquid are the oats? Like, how yeah. soupy? Not, not soupy, like, not like as soupy as like that bowl was, but, but not pilafi either. No, no, they're yeah. they're they're kind of like mashed potato texture. Ooh. I have one called cheesy oats that tastes like mashed potatoes. Oh, but yeah. I like um, my regular sweet kind of breakfast oats because I put psyllium, so they're very kind of mushy, and I like it like that. But it doesn't work for savory oats. I found I want a little crisp on my savory oats. Oh yeah, I, I almost, don't care about that. Yeah, I, crisp I, I, I want. Yeah. I, 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 I like what she's going for. It's more the dumpling, yeah. country kitchen soothing. Yeah. Almost, yeah. Yeah, I get, I get what you're going for. Teriyaki sauce is like 
Bragg's. Oh, um, yum. Um, I'm gonna I do use it. like a brown sweetener or like super sweet with just a drizzle of molasses to make oh, it brown wow. sweetener. And it's some, just cook it down until it tastes like tea. The ginger, oh, garlic, yum. and then pour it over the oats. Oh, Tilson tried that? Oh my word, no. There's so many things that he Tilson wouldn't try, try oatmeal one time. When he gets bored, I fed him give his him a life. perfect porridge. Tilson, Tilson's oh coming into some things. I'm just speaking yeah. over him. Yeah. Cheesy oats. See, they like cheesy oats too. I it's reckon he's gonna be an influence stuff. Tilson's Maybe. gonna Tilson's gonna like waste you with right. his he with his numbers of people when he starts influencing with his <laughs> his conversion to healthiness. Oh, it's he's what a powerful gonna, testimony. He's gonna take it's the gonna world be. by storm. Awesome. But he'll always speak with like this right. over this part of right. or something. He'll talk about how his inflammation went down and all of his yeah. energy, but which is like unbelievable. You see these pair of eyes and his veteran cap, no face, just this man speaking about his conversion to health. It's going to be huge. It would. Really it would. <laughs> We're doing it. We're okay. starting his own Insta when we get home. We're good. Mikey's ready to turn us off now. Guys, it was so fun being with you. It was so fun. Thanks, Kate. Thank you for having me. Yay. Yay.